Brian and Megan Fox bought the $274.79 FITURBOF1 hoverboard in November 2015 as a Christmas present for their 14-year-old son. On January 9, 2016, the hoverboard exploded while the boy and their daughter were home. The pair were forced to escape through windows with the help of their father. All three suffered injuries, including lacerations that required stitches, fractured bones, and nerve damage. The family's 4,000-square-foot home was destroyed. It was never clear who manufactured the hoverboard, but the Foxes launched a $30 million lawsuit against Amazon. They claimed the company never warned them that it could explode, even though Amazon knew about the fire risks. But a Tennessee judge disagreed. As noted by CNBC, one Amazon exec deposed in the case admitted to removing a hoverboard from his own home after hearing about their potential issues. Amazon also held on to hoverboard seller's cash for 90 days instead of 30 as it was getting ready for a deluge of returns. There is a potential to run off with this money, an employee wrote in an internal email. The couple received an email on December 12, 2015, sent out by Amazon to hoverboard buyers that referenced the recent news reports of safety issues and offered safety tips. While there was an option to return them for a refund, there was no mention of the words fire or explosion. Judge William Campbell dismissed the case on Wednesday, ruling that Amazon was simply a platform used to sell the product, and not legally responsible for the fire. Amazon's role in the transaction was to provide a mechanism to facilitate the interchange between the entity seeking to sell the product and the individual who sought to buy it, he wrote. We're disappointed in the decision and weighing our options with our clients and should make a decision in the next week or two, Stephen Anderson, the Fox's lawyer, told CNBC.